What's up guys and uh, welcome here. We're sitting inside my truck and today we're gonna be reviewing this. This is the uh, Enon GA6180F uh, head unit that I put in. It's a Chinese Android unit. And today we're gonna talk about the things I really like about it and the things I really don't like about it and use that to kind of determine whether or not it's a good deal or a good value or the right choice for you. First things first, if you're looking for a full-size touchscreen, this is a great option. Um, if you're looking for something cheap, it's also a great option and the bottom line of this review is that for $300 I am very happy with what I purchased. It works very well for what I wanted to do. That being said, it is not nearly as awesome as you would kind of think it would be based on the features that they advertise on the site. It's not misadvertisement, it just simply doesn't quite function as well as you would like. So first things first, I use this almost exclusively to stream music from Spotify. So here it is. I remember you was conflicted. So I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. But there, when you're playing with Spotify or any other um, Bluetooth device, there is a slight background hiss. Uh, if anybody knows how to fix this, let me know. I have done everything in my power to kind of figure out how to cure it of that. And so far, I'm null. It doesn't seem to have be anything to do with the equalizer on the phone or the equalizer on this thing. Uh, so that's how I use it. The other big feature that I really like is this. This is the reverse camera that came with it. Is it the most high resolution thing ever? No, but it works really well. I can hook up my trailer. I'm very happy with it. It's great to have it along with the uh, beep beep feature that came from GM. Um, the factory integration is spot on. Uh, I have full steering wheel controls, volume source, play pause, answer the phone, bring up the phone menu. Uh, when I sync Bluetooth with this thing and put all my contacts into it, uh, it works fantastic. In addition to that, um, I this thing, I connected it to Wi-Fi when I first got it. Honestly, it's pretty slow connected to Wi-Fi. It's like it lags as well as the fact that the Wi-Fi itself isn't very fast. And so if you do have a hotspot and you plan on using it connected to your phone hotspot, I don't know that I'd necessarily recommend that. I don't know if it's going to be a great option, but it is something you can try. Honestly, um, I would say if you're thinking about using this as a as a connected device, uh, it's it's really not as good as any of the real Android autoplay stuff is. But that being said, uh, it plays music really well. Uh, on the music front, um, the only big issue I had is that the subwoofer output on this thing is not a high enough level to drive an amplifier. I had to install a booster box, it's called like a Pac-10 I believe, a booster box, basically jumps the line voltage up to about 3 volts. Uh, and you just put it right in front of your amplifier and after that I had no problem. Bass thumps really nice in this thing. So let's, uh, let's take you through some of the, some of the features. This is kind of the home screen. Um, you can use the music to play music. I have an SD card here. You can hear right here. So it seems like this uh, kind of uh, this kind of background hissing has to do with the amplifier that's in here. Uh, that's really pretty disappointing. It's it's a big pet peeve for me. I'm gonna reach out to Enon and see what they uh, say or can do about it. Maybe there's an update for it or something. Um, it doesn't bother me too much because I listen to my music either pretty loud or really soft, and at those two extremes, uh, it doesn't seem to pick up as much. But if we go back to the home screen, um, you can use the radio, you can use Bluetooth. Um, let's see, there's an app installer, there's audio video in, it's not configured on here because um, I don't have a secondary camera. You have basic Android stuff like calendar and calculator and whatnot, but I don't really use those because uh, it's on my phone. Um, let's see, there's a movie on this SD card. 
Um, let's see, SD card. You can hear it. Again with the hissing. Like I said, you ain't stealing these cars. I got this. He got this, but you can hear the hissing in the background, and that's really my one big complaint with this thing. But the video screen is nice. If you look at the remaining buttons, the home button works. There's like a browser and a file manager, and there's maps. I installed Torque. Uh, I haven't really played with it yet. I installed Waze and Spotify, but I don't really use them for anything uh, because I play everything through my phone. You have quick buttons like navigation automatically opens up Google Maps, but again, with no internet connection, you can't really do much with it. Um, the play pause button works. The EQ button is really stupid because it only just cycles the equalizer. This AMS button doesn't do anything. Uh, the band button turns on radio, uh, which I never listened to, so scratch that. Uh, the DVD button will cue this DVD, mute and eject all work. I like having the clicking for the volume knob, it's quite nice. This tune is also uh, clicks back. You can use it to cycle through songs. The overall fitment in the dash I think is very good. Uh, you have to use the screws and adjust it to get the, the gaps quite right. But most people that aren't car guys that hop into this thing, they assume uh, that this is a factory unit, which I think really uh, kind of goes to show you uh, how nice it is. So with that being said, for $300, if you are looking to have a backup camera integrated, this is, will do it. If you're looking to play Bluetooth music, if you're looking to run a subwoofer, you're gonna need to make some adjustments, but it drives all the speakers really well. Um, I'm still working on the getting rid of the hissing sound. We gotta figure it out. I'm gonna send Enon an email uh, after this video and ask them if there's anything they would recommend I could change to help deal with that. Um, but that being said, I'm really happy with it. You have the, the drop down menu here. Uh, if we go to the amp, you can have a full equalizer, a loudness setting, there's a fader control. This is kind of wonky as well because it doesn't actually seem to know where everything is. But you can do a little back to, back to front fading or side to side fading if you need to. Everything else in here works fine. Um, let's see, you can. there's a DVR mode, I've never tried it, it seems kind of like a joke. Um, you can play DVDs with it, I don't own any DVDs, but I imagine if I popped one in, uh, they would work just fine. Like I said, one of the big things I'm gonna test out later is I'm gonna test out Torque. Uh, that seems like a really cool feature I'd like to have on here, especially once I get some performance mods onto the truck. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It does everything I need to do. I'm actually gonna put my magnetic receiver back in here so I can just clip my phone on top of it because I almost never use the touch screen for anything. All in all, I'm happy. I don't think you can get something better for $300 that has a touch screen in it. That being said, if you do wanna spend $1,100, $1,200, you can get a really cool, really nice Android Auto or Apple iPlay head unit that's gonna be head and shoulders above this. The Call quality is really good on the receiving end. I have had several people tell me that um, the factory mic that I have on the GMC was better. This uh, mic right here, I'm using the in one. It picks up a little bit more noise, a little more road noise, but uh, nobody ever has any trouble understanding me. So there is that. So all in all, I would say I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 as it is, and probably an eight out of 10 if I can fix the hissing noise. Uh, for 300 bucks, it does exactly what I need to do, and it fits really nicely, and if I ever need to upgrade it, I can. There's not really much uh, associated cost because all the wirings, factory GM, plug and adapt harness, everything that came with it worked, the beeper worked, all of the uh, CAN bus integration stuff works. So if you're kind of on the fence and you want a cheap DIY solution, I really think this is an excellent option. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. Check out my other videos, building a uh, subwoofer box, rear storage, and of course, installation and wiring on this thing. Uh, and as always, ride safe. Peace.